1900s, a network of secret underground routes and safe houses helped people escape from slavery to Canada and some free northern states. It was the Underground Railroad. One of the most famous conductors of the Underground Railroad was Harriet Tubman. Harriet was born a slave in 1819 or 1820 in Dorchester County, Maryland. Her name was Araminta Ross, but her mother, Harriet Green, and her father, Ben Ross, called her Minty. She was the fifth child out of 11. At age 12, Minty was sent to a dry goods store on an errand. There, she met a fugitive slave who had left his plantation without permission. The slave's owner commanded Minty to help restrain the slave, but Minty refused. The overseer grabbed a two pound weight from the counter and in an attempt to hit his slave, hit Minty in the head instead. She often suffered from headaches and had sleeping spells where she fell asleep at random times and could not be woken. Minty had saved the slave's life. This head injury fueled her faith and made her more determined to stop slavery. Minty changed her name to Harriet after her mother. Harriet's last name was changed to Tubman after she married John Tubman, a free African-American man at age 25. She knew that it was possible that she could be sold and that her and John's marriage could be split apart. Her dream was to escape to the North where she could be free with John and not have to worry about a slave trade. But John didn't want to go North and said that they were fine where they were. In 1949, Harriet left her husband and escaped to Philadelphia. Harriet received a paper from a white abolitionist with instructions to a safe house. When she got there, she was covered in a sack in a wagon and driven to the next safe house. She had strides with several abolitionists until she arrived in Philadelphia. Here, Harriet got a job and saved her pay to help other slaves escape. She proceeded to help her family escape. In September 1850, she was made the official conductor of the Underground Railroad. She knew all the routes to free territory. Harriet had about 19 rescue missions and, over 10 years, freed over 300 slaves. She was known as Moses for her leadership. In 1865, Congress passed a law forbidding slavery in the United States. On March 10, 1913, Harriet died a hero. Because of her faith, she helped so many slaves escape. Because she stood up for what she believed in, she stopped slavery. She inspires us to stand up for what we believe in.